neighborhood want one of their neighbors to leave. Raging Machines LLC was granted a six-month zoning extension that expired in June, but the company is still at its Bridge Street address. The City Council has voted twice to take legal action against Raging Machines. The problem, Mayor Jack DeLome didn't sign the original resolution, and the second time, the mayor vetoed the vote. But as our Aaron Stuber reports, residents in the neighborhood say they've had enough and it's time for the company to go. It's business as usual at Raging Machines LLC on East Bridge Street in Brobridge. And despite the recent controversy and the expired zoning variance, Raging Machines attorney says the company is not going anywhere and there's nothing anyone can do about it. They can jump up and down and yell and scream till they have no voices. My clients are in compliance with the zoning ordinances. And while Raging Machines is new to the neighborhood, business in that same location is not. In 1982, an oil field business opened there and remained until Raging Machines moved in about a year ago. This machine shop didn't come up. It was there many, many years before Shane Ackman moved there. And the house that Shane Ackman lives in, adjacent to the shop, was built by Rusty Clark, who operated the business next door. But having a business practically in the backyard of this neighborhood is not the problem. Shane Ackman says it's the type of business and the way they moved in. I don't have a problem with them operating. It's where they're at. If they were to move their business elsewhere, we have no issue with that. Um, it just doesn't belong where it's at. The neighborhood is worried if the business is allowed to stay, it will mean more industries moving in. If they're allowed to have a business, why wouldn't someone else be allowed to have a business right across the street? It's an empty lot. My client's Raging Machine Shop is going to move on one of two occasions, when I die or hell freezes over, and that's it. Otherwise, they dare to stay. In Brobridge, Aaron Stuber, KTC TV3. Now, the residents plan to readdress the issue of Raging Machine at the Brobridge Council meeting next week. Parish by Parish News starting tonight in Lafayette, where the man suspected in a